Rule 34. Um, it's actually something for both our men and women viewers, listeners, and all that. Uh, it's gonna help the women out, but only if the men fucking listen up. Um, well, I guess the women could listen up too if you're lesbian or bisexual, you know. These are, uh, I'm listening. Tips, and tr- here. <laughs> tips and tricks here on how to finger a woman. You know, just oh. a little something. I'm a giver. Oh my god, I have I have had some bad shit. I will <laughs> tell you. Oh my yeah. god. There yeah. there was a guy. Dude, cut your fucking fingernails and trim them down nice and smooth. Because <laughs> you don't know what you're fucking doing. You just don't know. Okay. See, here's the thing. And I'm gonna say this. And I'm gonna get judged for it. You're going to give me a look. And I know you are. I don't mind long fingernails to an extent. No, this was bad. See, I... This this particular case was bad. Like, here's the thing. It's not even how long they are that is the problem for me. The problem is whether or not they're using them the right way. Because I like scratching. That was me. No, there was some weird flashy light that just went by my window. I'm like, that was me. That was me. Okay. (laughs) Hey, you doing? Okay. Ignore the light. Okay. okay? Don't go into the light. Ladder. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Um. No. But I like I like um feeling nails. I love the feeling of nails. It's a big turn on for me. I don't know. But if they're and they're trying to like rip off the walls of my vagina, there's a problem. (laughs) That was the problem. That's so, the problem I'm talking about. Well, yeah, but like I said, a little bit of nail action is fine. But anyways, that's why we came up with these tips here. Um, okay. Well, we didn't come up with them. An article in Men's Health did. But <laughs> we're going to go over them and see what we agree with and what we disagree with, which I don't think there's going to be much that we disagree with. Um, <laughs> we'll okay. just add on to it. Okay. All right. Help okay. men out here. Make sure they know what they're doing. Um, the first tip that was on the list from this article was to start slow. Um, a quote, um, from one of the women they interviewed, I'm I'm guessing, um, said, I think a lot of men start way too rough. Like they're trying to unclog my vagina. Definitely (sighs) make sure she's super wet before you start trying to get even one finger up there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> slow, but I mean, here's the thing. I I I know. I I I know that I'm a lot different than most women. I get super wet, real easily, for a lot of different reasons. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. <laughs> so I don't know about the having to wait until she's super wet to stick one finger up there. With me personally, I don't I don't really have that problem. Well, that's I mean, why you have to be able to read your partner. Yeah. And that's, like, that are they actually enjoying it. it, or are you causing them pain? Yeah. Like, but I'm not. Do I'm you not have kidding. Do you have a nice window slide in, <laughs> or should you wait it out a minute or thirty yeah, seconds? I'm not saying or whatever. Like full on fister right away, but right, right. You know, yeah, find out what, she, like, if that's who she is, or if you notice that she just gets super wet like that, you know, one finger right on oh, up, yeah. even good, but the whole, don't jam your whole fist, J- yeah, take your time, know your person, that's all you gotta do. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, if second- you're, if you're, if you're, if you're with somebody who you've had sex with before, like, if it's a, a regular partner, you know based off of the noises that they make and the way that they move their body with you or against you or whatever, you know if it's something that's enjoyable. So I don't understand why it wouldn't be the same thing with fingering. Yeah. Boy, I've had, I've had, I've had partners who were good at one and not the other. You know what I mean? Like they had no idea what they were doing in the bedroom. Like, as far as sex goes, but 
they could finger me like no other. Oh. And I've had dudes who can't finger me with their shit, but their dick game is strong. So, I mean, I kind of get it. I kind of do. No, I, yeah, I get it, too. Um, well, I'm not a faker. Like, I can't fake. I'm totally incapable of faking. Yeah. Like, you can tell. You can yeah. tell. Yeah. I can't. I, I'm incapable of faking. So if I'm just laying there and not making any noise, you're not doing it right. And a lot of times, if I'm really bitchy feeling, I will tell you, what the fuck are you doing? Be like, <laughs> you are not doing it so right. You need to change it up. Like, I will show you. I will, here, give me your fucking hand. I will show you how to do it. <laughs> and for a lot I mean of men, that, way. that in itself is a turn on. Let me show you how to do this. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to be like, um, can I just, can I just go ahead and just right, right there, right, right there. <laughs> not here. It's over here. <laughs> yeah. I've had met, I've actually, I've had some men who like are really turned on by that where you're like, I'll just show you. But then again, I've also met a couple men who it will completely shatter their little ego. And they're like, well, I'm not going to, I'm leaving. You hurt my feelings. That's not my kind of guy. That is not yeah. my kind of guy. Any man my who cannot friend. take instruction in the bedroom. Is not my kind of guy at all. I I want no nothing to do with that at all. Hi Beth. Hi. Love you, Beth. I love yeah. Beth. No, I um, yeah, I can't. I I mean, I didn't. They left, and I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, like don't come back. Don't let the door hit you in the face on the way out. <laughs> I'm already on the phone calling somebody who can do this right. Don't worry about exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um. <laughs> second tip in this magazine article was um to start with tongue which i am not against you go ahead buddy i'm on board i am totally on board with that actually i, I think that's where it should start all yeah. all the time every single i time. mean okay i was gonna say unless you're completely soaked but then you should probably do some cleanup work before we get more involved if you got me to that point where i'm like super fucking soaked I don't know. Lick it up a little bit. Something. Oh, yeah. I'm full on. I don't give a... I don't care how... Yeah. Clean your plate. You did this. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Not possible. I love you more, Beth. <laughs> um, another quote from the article um, after talking about this second tip said that Remember, remember that the vagina doesn't self lubricate all the time. So using lube or considered, or consider going down on her first to get things wet. Which, yeah, again, fully support going down I, on her first. I will agree 100%, with that. Hundred percent. I mean, it's it's like it's it's the same thing with guys who like their dick is always hard. Well, sometimes it isn't. You know, every once in a while, you just have a problem with it it's nothing to be ashamed of but women have the same fucking problem if your pussy is wet like all the fucking time and you're just like ready to fucking go it's perfectly okay to not be like super so when you're emotionally and your pheromones are like <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> motherfucker i eat everything yes, i eat yes, the pussy i eat the butt i eat every motherfucking thing <laughs> I'm and knowing where the where to put them, <laughs> which brings us to our next step. Our next Yay! Speaker, stimulate the clitoris. All right. Yes. Now it well, is that's a, what the tongue is for. Yes, but it is a well-known joke among the female community that most men have no idea where the clitoris is, and it's this magical, mythical thing that they have no idea exists. I will teach you. I will teach you where it is. <laughs> Exactly. There are women out there who will show you exactly where to find theirs if you are nice yes. enough to them. Um, yes. Quote with this one says, before diving right in to fingering, give the clitoris, which has 8,000 nerve endings for you, those of you who didn't know, um, some attention. The clitoris is located. Oh, look, we're going to tell you where it is, boys. Listen up. Listen. Listen. 
Can you find the, the clitoris cat? is located above the entrance to the vaginal canal, and it's smooth in texture. There, there, there. I can't, I can't <laughs> explain it because I'm going against everything women stand for in this moment. It's both our secrets. <laughs> I'm ready for love. Check in with your partner to see what kind of motions they like. You hear that? Check in mm-hmm. with your partner, okay? Ask her what she wants. She will see. I'm really you. vocal. I'm I'm really vocal about it beforehand. Well, yeah. Like, okay. So my boyfriend wanted to go down on me, and I'm like, I have no faith in you. <laughs> and he's like, What? I'm like, I'm. Not, I'm being honest. I have no faith in you at all. Like, can you handle me being honest with you if you're doing it wrong and telling you what to do? <laughs> He's like, yeah. I'm like, cool. Then we're good. <laughs> Hello, Hello was awesome Shell it, so. and Billy. Hello, Shell and Billy. <laughs> um, well, I mean, not all women are as upfront and vocal, so that's why the men should always be courteous and ask. I mean, if she's letting you put your hands, your tongue, or anything else in her funny parts, you better be con- at least courteous and ask her what she likes. Yep. Um, cause some women or be shy. willing to listen, or, or be willing to listen to her when she's telling you that you're doing it wrong. Yes, exactly. And how to do it properly. Yes. Always be me, open for improvement. Let me and tell that is you, a life hack. Let me tell you boys something. If a woman is trying something with you sexually, experimentally, and she tells you she doesn't like it after trying it with you or in the middle of it she says no I don't want to do it I don't like it it don't feel good do not tell her to give it a minute or just to relax right. or let's try Absolutely. it again and maybe you'll yep. like it no because you're not going to change her mind it's not right. one of those things like you keep going and trying it and you end up no it's not fucking right. food it's not some fucking fancy car you're learning to drive for the first time that's not how this works okay if she don't like it she don't like it right absolutely um maybe yeah I'm having <laughs> stuff mine a lot because I'm laying on them they're it's not comfy to lay on sometimes unless you're you're the one laying on them I'm not anyway <laughs> anyway <laughs> speaking of like comfort do it? step four or tip four um is a little bit obvious here, but maybe some of these boys don't know. Hit her G spot, yo. Okay. And not just like yep. hit it, hit it, hit it with the right motion, the come hither motion, you know? Yes. Give yes. her a little of that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can you find um, the cat? Quote that goes along with this one. Yeah. Well, you hit it. Come here. So, so I just want to say that most, most men who have a slightly curved penis. It actually curves up for that fucking reason. <laughs> Those are the dicks made for it. Uh, <laughs> it's targeting your G spot. <laughs> Don't change it up too much. Unless you're going for a different spot. I'm just saying. But there are a lot of spots. There are way more than just the G spot. Seriously, women have like six spots. Well, we're going to expose exactly one of those G spots. Um, well, they Wait, exposed one of those G spots. It's not mine, is it? Huh? It's not mine, is it? Well, it might Can, be. Are you exposing my spot? It might be. <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> Can you hear me? Exposed. I don't know where my cat it's is. My cat is leaning. It. Okay. Um, it says the G spot is located in the upper part of the vaginal canal. Everyone's G spot is slightly different, loca- is in a slightly different location, but it's general, generally, fuck me, I cannot talk. Fuck it's you. generally, I fuck you. yeah, literally, <laughs> that's what I need right now. Um, yeah, it's generally know. two to three inches inside of the body. And while the vaginal, the walls of the vaginal canal are very smooth in texture, the G spot feels like a wet sea sponge. Okay, so if you're up there, feeling around looking for the G spot, feel for something that feels like SpongeBob SquarePants. Get that. I did not know that. 
Now Brian, I gotta check myself hello. out. Hello, how are you? Hey, Brian. Um, but yeah, apparently the G spot feels like a wet seat sponge. Um, and oh. to stimulate that, you're gonna use that classic come hither motion. Um, wow. Fingers. Yeah, I didn't even know oh. that. How do I not even know that? I came so fucking hard that I actually squirted a little bit. Stimulating your G spot enough with your fingers. I don't have to. Other people do it for me. <laughs> a. I can't, actually. I I stimulate my G spot with my fingers regularly. Um. <laughs> is why I'm probably accustomed to the nails thing. But anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> the next tip that they have, Becky, you're not going to like it. You're not oh, my God. Tip. Don't hurt me with this one. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. But they want the men to get nipples involved. No, I don't like it. I don't <laughs> like it. No, leave my nipples alone. It's not a sexual thing for me. I know that you are all about your nipples, but I no. am. Why? I'm, I'm, Why? I love the nipples. Every time a guy sucks on my nipples, I'm just like. Did you hear what I said? Can, you know, can we fuck now? Can we just fuck now? <sighs> Why? Be like. I like your nipples, and I really want to suck on your nipples one day. I, I I'm do ready have nice for nipples. love. I, will say I know they're perfect for <laughs> sucking. Jesus. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, like, all of my friends have seen them. <laughs> I'm not shy. Um, oh, yeah. So it says, it says to get her nipples involved. Um, one of the quotes mm -mm. that was submitted to the article was. Um, this, and I'm going to tell you after I stop figuring out how to use words in a sentence. <laughs> um, Sophia um, told the article writers, another good trick is to gently tweak slash thumb her nipples while fingering her with your other hand and eating her out. But be careful, the amount of nipple play is highly specific to the girl. The nipples are like our bowls. Okay. No. Um, I don't know about the whole nipples being equivalent to balls thing for a girl. No. Um, but yeah, they, they are right. The amount of nipple play is highly specific to the girl. Becky, for instance, hates it. So don't try it on her. It ain't gonna work. Me, however, play with my nipples. I do not care. I'd rather enjoy it. However, do not tweak my nipples. Okay, I don't know what the hell she's talking about, but uh, yeah, I, that seems just you, if I feel you going extreme? like this, tweak. Tweak. I don't I don't know if that's like tweaking or like tweaking. I don't fucking know. But I know. I don't know. I don't know, but if I feel you trying to adjust, are my you nipples, tuning in? Like, tuning yeah, in, if I, feel to, you, <laughs> if I feel you trying to fucking tweak my nipples like goddamn radio station <laughs> lever, I'm gonna fucking make you put your pants on and leave. Don't do it, okay? You can push. You, I don't, I don't. I, there's a way to do it, but that's not it. Don't, don't do it. So, so <laughs> Shell says that she has never had an orgasm other than clitoral stimulation. And I will say, I can only have a full body orgasm, which is a completely different type of orgasm with clitoral stimulation. It has nothing to do with my G-spot or anything like that. It's a completely different nerve set. Totally different type of orgasm entirely. And it feels completely different, but Oh, I have multiple orgasms during sex. Like, <sighs> pretty much, like, right away until, yeah, I'm, I'm wow. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if, if anybody is watching now that was watching way back in February. I believe it was February when I was with the fucker, the guy that, who fucked me. He gave me 17 orgasms 
in one day? See, I... That's my record. And that was I fucking can, awesome. I can orgasm off of a back scratching. Like, if a guy's itching my back the right way, scratching my back, I should say, I can orgasm off that alone. Oh, like, I, I can if he's, like, kissing my neck and my upper back. Oh, God, that. And just touching me softly. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, Maybe I, a little I, love nibbles here and there. I will come. Uh, yeah, there's. I can come lots of different ways. I can orgasm lots of different ways. Um, but that's my. That's one of my erogenous zones too. Like I said, I can just like I there there can I can think of something and orgasm. Like just now, we were talking about the back scratches. Like I got this close. That's why I stopped talking because I was gonna orgasm just now. So we're yeah, not gonna like okay. <laughs> I I I can be like reflecting on last night's sex at work. And have an orgasm. Yeah, yeah. I have um, done it before. Without touching myself on, at all. I'll orgasm right now if we don't. <laughs> Can I watch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna manually bottle. Try not my... to get us ba- banned on Facebook. Stop it. Sorry. Uh-huh. Later. After. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do yeah. You and I can always have our little sessions after. It's okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> The Can we just city. stop now? Stop the show now and just get to that. <laughs> have your time. Calm down. We know oh, you're always fine. Horny. Okay. I know I am always horny. I know. They're insatiable. I know. Totally insa- I only had sex once today. <laughs> Somebody's gonna have to die. Well, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it at least two more times before bed. I know that. All right. I had a really busy day. Really busy. I had to go shopping. You know how stressful that is? You can't be having sex when you're out of shopping. Well, uh, you can if you're careful about it. I've had I've had sex in Walmart before. <laughs> tip number six. Stop. Use a sex toy. You don't Which, need one. Well, I mean, like I said, there's some men out there who are bad at fingering, and they do. Um, and if that's you, that's okay. Um. Cherith, I would rather have dick. Me too. Above um, anything. Cherith, like, I don't want a dildo. I don't want fingers. I don't. I don't even care if you eat my pussy with your face. I I want dick. I just want dick. But I'm not. Cherith, I don't ask for much. Cherith sent in a quote to the article that said. There are sex toys, so don't be intimidated by the toys. Trust me, they help. Everyone has a good time. A bullet vibrator plus fingering will change everyone's life. Um, oh, I did that. Okay. What up? My 20s, I got over it really fast. I did that in my 20s. I got over it really fast. You can, oh. you can only do that so long before it's not, you need to take it up a notch. Well, I mean, yes and no. I mean, it, for some people, they find their little kinks, and it works for them for a while. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still, I, 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 I haven't done this much because a lot of my partners were intimidated by the idea of using um, sex toys in the bedroom. I don't, I don't know if a bullet would can be. I don't know. I don't think a bullet is kinky at all. I don't consider it even a sex toy. It's just something that it's a fucking egg that vibrates. Well, yeah, and I'm, I mean, normally, like, by myself, I don't even, I have, I have, I have several of those, and by wow. myself, I won't use them, but with a partner, yeah, I've done that, um, and like I said, I haven't done it much, because most of my partners have been intimidated by the idea of, like, sex toys in the bedroom, they're like, no. Yeah. Um, <coughs> well, but, okay, so, like, I, I like to use, well, I used to. Like, I would fuck myself with my dildo or my vibrator, whatever, and then use the bullet on my clit. But, like, I got over that. I would have sex with the bullet, you know, inserted or whatever. And that was just weird and awkward. Like, I got the the We Vibe Chorus, and it's okay. But on my own. 
you know, like it's not something that you would want to use with a partner because it vibrates too much and it takes all the sensation away. See, I like, don't have, I don't have that problem. I've, I've, like I said, I, I've had a bullet and I've had it in while the guy's fingering me and or making out or whatever. It, it gets me there. I mean, it gets me really there. It makes me want the real thing. Like it, in, it increases the. The need for the dick even though usually by that point i've already got the need for the dick real bad but yeah yeah like i i, I that, enjoy it. but it's, it's not satisfying no it just makes you not, want more dick well yeah and that's not, want it's dick not more <laughs> it's not the point i don't think fingering in itself is not meant to satisfy um i think it's more it's more about foreplay it's more about the build-up so yeah, of course the bullet and fingering isn't going to satisfy you, but it's not meant to. It's meant to build you up to the moment. You know what I mean? I if you're problem. out there trying to get by on just fingering a girl, um, oh. please don't. Like, no. yeah. her everything or don't try anything with her. Oh, I um, got, I got a problem. What? What? Sorry. Sorry. I got a problem. I got to fix it. Well, this. fix it so oh. we can finish these up. All right. Well, no, you can keep going. I'll bring in you with me. <laughs> okay. Um, the seven. I ran tips... out of beer. Oh no! Fix that. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> the seventh tip. It's actually something you mentioned. Um, wash your hands and cut your nails. Yes. Um, and 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 file them. Yeah. You don't want those sharp, razor fucking sharp. Freshly cut Unless nails. Unless your partner's in front of the, in before that, you know, find her needs out first. Um, but if it is like somebody you've just met and you're going, you know, yeah, probably you should probably go along with this because the general consensus is that women do not like sharp nails in their vagina. Um, no. At this go. Sheriff quote. She was quoted again in the article, and she said. Dear God, make sure you wash your hands. Please don't give me BV, which is called, which is short. It's an abbreviation for bacterial vag- vaginosis, vag- vaginosis. Vaginitis? Vaginitis? I don't know. She said vaginosis. Um, I, I never heard of that, but yeah. You don't want somebody's disgusting fucking fingers contaminating your vagina. Yeah, yeah. No woman wants to be fingered badly and have an infection, so don't do that. Right. Um. So that okay. that tip, um, and that's not even really a tip as much as it is a standard practice. Um. Yeah. As it should be. Um. Okay. Are you gonna eat that fucking donut and lick your fingers off after you were fucking taking out the garbage? No. No. No, you're not. You're gonna wash your fucking hands. Oh, I thought you were asking me if I was, if I was, no. if I was eating a donut no, for a donut. You yeah, I'll eat a donut. I'll go for a donut right now. I have, <laughs> I have donut. Okay, okay. I'm coming yeah, over. Um, <laughs> open up your window. Let me in. Um, we have a lot of donuts. You bitch. You're gonna show me the donuts too. <laughs> All right. Number eight. <laughs> Tip number eight is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Really fucking simple here, boys. If what you're doing for your partner works, don't try to fix don't it. Don't change it up. Nope. Um, I've Keep actually doing seen it. Relationships. Fuck it. I've seen oh, this how many how many times does a girl say "Don't stop" and then he stopped? Well, I mean that's a little bit okay, different. But... Oh, yeah, but still. But <laughs> like, Seriously. I mean, this is this is something that's true in a lot of things. Um, seriously, like. You're sitting there worried about trying to spice things up, trying to think, change things up, and that might not be what your partner wants. Your partner might be completely oh. happy. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. You guys just I need to learn to communicate and like yeah. figure out things before <laughs> before you worry about if it's ruined. I used to work with a woman that her and her husband they were married for a really long time, and they decided to try new things. Neither yeah. one of them were happy with the trial. They they wanted to just have the regular sex that they always had. Yeah. Um, Corey was quoted in the article. It said, it's, if it seems like they're really enjoying a specific motion or sensation, stick to it. The easiest path 
to killing an orgasm is by changing up the rhythm and motion. So that kind of goes back to what you were saying about don't stop and then they stop. Don't stop yeah. And then they stop. Yeah. And it destroys the whole fucking orgasm. Like why why when I say don't stop, that means I I'm going to come. Not I am coming. I'm going to come. This is this is that perfect moment when you are doing the right thing and it's working for me. And I am telling you, don't fucking stop. Why would you stop? Why the fuck would you stop? Did you not want me to orgasm? Did you just, like, did you just orgasm block me? You cock-blocking motherfucker. I will beat you. (laughs) (laughs) So that was... That was all the tips that Men's Health had. Um, And I think they pretty much covered the basis of their... Um, of everything you would really need to know, but you think there's anything to add to that list? Um, just listen to your partner. Like, discuss it ahead of time. What What do you want to do? What is your goal? What, you know, what do they want? And always, 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 Take the constructive criticism. Because if they didn't care, they wouldn't give it to you. Exactly. So 